What is your maybe theory of her trajectory from pre-classical Artemis to classical Artemis? So in the book, I cover a, lo a lot more in depth than I can even recall right now. So I would say that she comes, so it's a tricky way to trickle down because she comes for sure from the Pontia Theron, which is the mistress of animal tradition. And this tradition, this depiction actually, perhaps not the name, but the depiction, which is a goddess holding uh, out her two hands and in each hand there's an animal. Sometimes there's like two geese, sometimes it's two deer, sometimes it's two lions. You can find this tradition. I actually had an image that maybe you can share that I just came across that has like 12 of these images across the world. You find it across the Mediterranean, the Middle East, North Africa, but now they're finding a couple in South America as well. So this tradition of the mistress of animal, there's also a mister of animals, but he's a lot more insignificant, is a Neolithic tradition, I would say, perhaps even earlier. So for sure, she comes out of that tradition. And most scholars lean towards that tradition in Crete, because that's where we have a lot of mistress of animals depictions. And we found a lot of this, uh, but we find it in the Mediterranean as well. But she also leans towards like Egyptian imagery, uh, like Isis, Neith. Hathor, because of her association with cows and bulls, because of her association with birthing and protection of childbirth and fertility. And she also kneel, uh, leans towards Anatolian, perhaps even Middle Eastern, Kybeli worship. Yeah. And this, so in Turkey, you know, there's this amalgamation of uh, Kybeli worship, Hecate worship, and Artemis of Ephesus worship. So I don't think she has an original place. Hmm. I think that the Greeks adapted her wherever they went, or they saw a goddess that seemed similar to her in characteristics and went, oh yeah, that's our Artemis. And then of course the Romans turned that into Diana. So I so I think she has several ancestral lines, is I guess what I'm thinking. And who knows, once I go into Eastern Europe, what might be there. I know, for example, Nordic, like Nordic mythology has a hunter goddess as well with a bow and arrow and she has skis, you know? I think her name is Skadi, S-K-A-D-I. And so there, there's, so there's so much. And so I think that Artemis, Artemis, the, the name and the image that we have of her fits really well. So I guess the question should be, why do we have so many hunter goddesses, <laughs> right? Or goddesses of the wild, all over the world like what does that say about that kind of worship that humans were attracted to and so i think that then artemis sort of accumulates all of these aspects uh, or or the greeks and later the romans take those aspects and go oh, yeah that must be our goddess right um, and yeah. it's, it's like it's actually very likely that there was also like a pre-greek mycenaean and probably pre-mycenaean absolutely pre-Artemis Artemis there. And absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, speaking of like Ariadne, right, which is sort of a Minoan, I mean, Ariadne now, um, we often think of her with Theseus and there's all this sort of uh, Greek takeover of the goddess of Crete. But Ariadne, so people go, well, Ariadne might have been a, a priestess of Artemis. Mm, maybe, but she may have been her own queen. She may have been her own goddess. It's very unclear what role, right? she played. And so I think that the Greeks blended a lot. Well, I know that the Greeks blended a lot. And so now un, untying that, unthreading that is, is a task, is a task. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have lots of questions, but I would like to let my guests ask questions if you have yeah. any. I can go. I have often thought, I haven't dug into the research, so I don't have a lot to substantiate this, but I just feel like there has to be really profound link between Artemis, a pre-Hellenic Minoan Ar Ariadne, and a pre-Hellenic Maenad cult? Like, do you see mm. any sort of link between those figures, Ariadne, Dionysus's, or maybe Ar Ariadne's Maenads and Artemis? I mean, this might be a big leap, but... No, no, it's not a leap at all. No.